Hello, and welcome to another Bionicle Wars commentary. This time we're going to be looking at Bionicle the Macabre. And this is actually the first one which introduces a little bit of the story. And we see Nuparu as the villain. I didn't think at this point I was going to put in the symbiote. Uh, that wasn't until later that I did the possession. And I actually wanted to do this, this that's the Jurassic Park font right there. What I wanted to do here was this fancy intro to introduce the macabre because I figured it was going to be pretty special. And I had intended it for it to be much longer than it actually ended up being. But alas, this is the result. Now, here when he's walking, I'm actually using string. And he's walking without any arms. I actually wrapped the string around his, his, his joints. And that's how... I would get the balance for him to for him to walk. And this is at this point I took out all my bionicles, decided to put them all on top of their canisters, and it's actually quite dark. And the reason it's so dark is because I was using the same camera I used to film all the other stop motions, except I was recording instead of taking pictures. And for some reason, when you record it it doesn't take in light as well as when you're actually taking pictures and I didn't figure that, that out until I did the storm fatality and here when Carl is just straddling out uh, whenever he lifts his leg you'll notice that he has the opposite arm down to keep balance with so bam see that's his sword and that's how I made him walk like that and then here when they're walking here, I'm actually just holding them from the top and using a little bit of string to help me out and some clay. Now all this choreography is actually straight from Matrix Revolutions. If you take a look at that movie, you'll notice the exact same hits, exact same kicks. I put in as much choreography as I could at that point in time. Now right there when they slammed their swords together and they lit up, um, all I did was just turn on their swords after each time I'd record and that's how that effect is achieved. I wanted to do it for the whole fight but if I would have there would be no battery left on swords at all. And here when he gets up this is the exact same stance that Neo does in Matrix Revolutions. And then you'll notice here the process to, to make a kick once again is he's gonna jab his sword to the ground to keep balance and the clay is there for support and then it, he'll lift his legs so that way we have these two anchors right here so he won't fall and then here when he goes up in the air the camera will will tilt up and I'll put more and more clay here as the camera rises so that he can gain height and then kick him here we do the exact same thing for that double kick. At this point, I started to put in my own choreography. I started to play around with sword choreography and how that would work. And right there is my storyboard. <laughs> that is what I would actually draw the different frames in, in Matrix Revolutions and have the entire fight in a series of drawings in the notebook that I could use as, as reference for when, for when I was animating. Later on, what I started to do was just take pictures frame by frame of the choreography and then I'd have my phone with me and I would see the pictures as I would go through the choreography. And right here when he shoots this bullet, bam, there it is. When he shoots this, I'm just keeping it at the edge of the camera because I'm actually holding it with a little piece of clay so that you can't see it. And then when it crosses his chest, I stick the clay and the ball together and it passes through his chest and I just go moving it little by little. There I lit up the sword again. And this is what my brother and I like to call the final combo. So this is Matoro's final combo to destroy the power. And you'll notice I actually ended Fall of Virtues the exact same way. Well, that was Bonacle the Macabre. I hope you enjoyed the commentary. And next time we'll be looking at Bonacle the Possession. 
Until then.